You know, I know I'm in the right place today because I'm uh, no longer uh, a day late or a dollar short. And uh, <laughs> right time, right place. Um, and I know when they put the thing on the board there about the buck, is Michael Anderson in the room? He's not in the room, but me and him love to deer hunt. And uh, so uh, when I saw the buck on the board, I know I'm with good people here. <laughs> wow, wow. But let, let me say, um, I, I came to uh, Procoa uh, after just three months with the Outlook Group and uh, enjoyed my time there. Uh, had just was just getting to know our um, my area leader, Kyle Ayler, and um, he was pouring into me out of a fire hose, and I was trying to uh, drink that and learn. And then just a few weeks into that, he said, now let me tell you something, we're about to merge with this huge corporation. And I'll just be honest with you, as I shared this this morning with uh, Brian, that um, when I heard that, I immediately thought, oh my goodness, huge corporation, impersonal, they're not gonna be about the people, it's not gonna be about service, it's gonna be bottom line, dollar, it's gonna be quotas. And um, you know, I shared those concerns with Kyle, and he said, I can assure you it won't be that way. He said, I've spent time with these people, they're incredible, they hold the same values, Ray, that you and I hold. And I heard that, but then I began to go to some meetings and uh, talk with more people coming here today. And I know today that's absolutely true. And uh, I'm grateful uh, to serve alongside you guys in this great organization. And I appreciate what you do. Uh, I need what I've seen here today. I love the detail here, just the way the building is set up, the strategy, uh, the way things are laid out in order. Let me tell you, sometimes it takes me an hour and a half to watch 60 Minutes. So uh, <laughs> I, 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 I need all this support. And you guys give in incredible support, and I appreciate that. And uh, the conversations, the things we've heard today, uh, it is truly a team effort, and, and I'm grateful for it. I want to say specifically to the uh, Funeral Planning Center, I want to echo everything uh, that Sarah said. Uh, so true, when we get in an appointment, uh, you guys are the heroes. Uh, you know, there's a song uh, that says, and I'm not going to try to sing it, but it says, well, you're the wind beneath my wings. And, I, and I'm serious here, I'm very serious. And uh, it says, did you ever know that you're my hero? You guys are, every one of the planners in this country, you're our heroes. And uh, you're heroes on the phone every day as you talk with these families. Uh, I know a lot of times there's either delayed or no gratification that comes your way. But I can assure you when we finish a meeting, as you said, and they have peace of mind and they convey that to us, it's just as well conveyed to you because you're the one that began the process. When they're standing at a graveside or they're in a visitation room and have that peace and knowing everything was uh, bundled together and taken care of and taking a burden off their family, it's because of you, what you do in the Funeral Planning Center. And we are grateful for what you do here as the entire organization, but specifically what you do on that phone. There could not be a harder telephone call I could imagine to broach than talking with someone about making plans for their final wishes. And, and you are incredible people who do it tactfully and do it very compassionately. And we are very, very grateful. You are our heroes. You are the wind beneath our wings. And I'm grateful that you celebrate these things each month here and we get to see that. And thank you for the opportunity to celebrate alongside of you today. Thank you very much.